Okay, guys, uh, did a little, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. So I did a little bit of adjusting. So yeah, top right hand corner, water pressure. That's usually just uh, two dashes and same thing, uh, lower right corner, uh, block pressure, I guess, not water pressure, block pressure. And that's usually just two dashes. So I know it sees that um, um, new module that I put on it, a new controller for water pressure. Super excited about that. I'm not gonna start my motor today, kind of senseless. I can wait and do that on Saturday when I go out. Um, but yeah, so now I'm seeing a few things. I got to get, uh, you know, back in the water so I can tweak a few things. Uh, my depth gauge says I'm sitting at 19 feet. Not sure if I need to um, tell it, you know, if I get in five feet of water and tell it, okay, now I'm in five feet of water so it knows or what's going on there. But, you know, water temperature and transmission temperature supposed to be, um, supposed to be lake water temperature uh, and that should be my gearbox temperature. I don't know why they would be so different and why would my gearbox be sitting at freezing? It's like plus 15 out right now, uh, Celsius. So something jump at that. And maybe it doesn't have that option. I really don't know. You know what I mean? That's just something that I put on the screen because I saw it there. Transmission oil temperature is what it is. So I could change that to a few other things, I guess. But anyway, for now, that's what she'll be. So yeah, so for, you know, I think 60 bucks all around. I've got a um, now digital readout of my water pressure. I can keep a close eye on that. I can set alarms on my vessel view if uh, it's too high or too low, of course. So that's um, you know one of those things. This thing has a <laughs> you can pick any alarm setting you want. You know, uh, it's very very handy that way. So yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, guys. Have a great day.